Good morning, ladies and gamers. It is time for another episode of Ranked Smite. I am back. I uh, So far, we're in picks and bands right now. We've got Yorm Solo, which I hate. I absolutely hate Yorm Solo. He does have... I don't know what this border means, but he has it. I don't know the difference between this and this, but uh, Yorm has it. I trust. I trust in the process. Now, Yorm Solo, Shiva Jungle. We're going to have a really tanky front line. Mid, uh, Cupid, and Poseidon are going to be able to mostly take care of themselves. Not really good engage. Merlin set Susano. Susano Jungle. Don't know what their support is. I'm trying to think what I should do. I think this might just be a Yumbo. I'm trying to get backline support. I think I'm gonna do it. Put together a crew. I think I'm gonna let it rip as Yumoja. Poseidon has a lot of disruption. Um, I think he facilitates uh, fights very well. Shiva obviously is our jungler, but Shiva's very tanky. I wouldn't be surprised if he builds hybrid. Yorm can face tank everything in your mom. They go for a Sobek. Now, they have a lot of mobility on the Susano in the set. So I want to be in the back line. I want to be with my team. Neath, obviously, is very safe. And Merlin is very safe. I was thinking about going something like maybe an Atlas. But they're just going to be running away. They've got a lot of mobility. Uh, so I think Yamoja will be good. I think that we can get this... Uh, Get this win. A lot of setup potential with the Emoja, with Kraken and Cupid ult. I have no idea what Cupid ult. I think it's called Fields of Love. If it is called Fields of Love, um, Fire, whoever, whoever named it that. Is that a phrase? Like, Fields of Love? I don't know what that's from. This guy plays a, a lot of Yorm. Which probably also means, although he has the border, he's probably stuck <laughs> in this MMR, which is not good. Um, going to be an interesting game, though. I think we're going to be laying in with Sobek and Neath into Cupid Yamoja. We should outclear. Mid lane is going to be Merlin Poseidon. I think that that'll be fine. I think that... Uh, Merlin has okay kill potential, but I think Poseidon's could be fine with his mobility. Kraken, you're not going to be getting any Krakens. Merlin has a, uh, I mean, I shouldn't say you're not. Probably will. But, uh, obviously Merlin's very safe. He's got that short dash. People are crazy with these new starts. Shiva into set. I think, I doubt that it's Suzano solo. Or, excuse me, it's going to be Yorm into set. I think that Yorm should be okay. Now, here's the thing. Yorm plays really good into characters that have a lot of hard CC. Like, for example, Tyr. This is like a stereotypical matchup. Also, did you know this? Look at this. Okay. Unacceptable. I think they can still see your name anyways, but... Uh, Yorm obviously does well into characters like Tyr that get their damage off of their CC and stuff like that. Set... I'm assuming it's set solo. A uh, set absolutely no. does not care about. Shiva does not have a. Oh, he does have a. He just said no. He asked you a question. He's hawking XP king. <laughs> okay. But uh, uh, set doesn't have any CC. He just kind of dumps damage on you. And Yorm is a little bit immobile. And so I think that there might be some problems there. And that it's just Susano versus Shiva. Nice. This is how I uh, clear with Yamoja. I think that this is the best way to do it. I drop my one on that camp. I drop this so it stuns it. Keep doesn't take any damage. I don't lose any stacks of benevolence. The hog destroys everything else. We get here fast. On my Omi's back up, you see I'm full Omi right now. Drop that, and then I try to get... And then we have wave pressure. That's how I play Emoji Start. I think it's very easy. I love my 3 next, but I really don't have any intention of using it. I'm really just going to use my 1 wave clear. 
in duo land, you basically want to clear wave one, wave two, and then you want to get these camps to our right. That's a big chunk. If you can, best to stun the, the archers and beneath at the same time. Gonna get this popcorn. Keep it come. Our reward for wave pressure is farm. If you win wave, you get to go farm. If you don't go farm and you just start, you know, lobbing autos out of the tower, you are wasting your your opportunity, your wave pressure. I'm gonna try and fast play this game because after wave three comes these camps over here on our left. And uh, these are actually worth a lot. Uh, cause it's three of these bad boys. I, uh, used that second one, I don't know what it's called. Moonstrike. Uh, a little bit off kilter because if you see... I can't show you now, but... Uh, there's, there's overlap right here. Where, uh... All three bubbles. And you do, uh, three times as so much damage as opposed to just the stun. And you'll still stun, cause they're still in the stun. Nice. Gonna level my one again. So it's okay. I held my Omi for this. Basically, get out. I'm gonna drop this. Kind of out of panic, but I am worried in case she's on a dumpster's kit. Blinked in. Uh, don't want to stand around this. Uh, Neath plays off of her weaves. These little red things in the ground. Just play around it. Just a small note. Just play around it. The Neath is going to be looking for it every time. If you're not looking for it, she's just going to get value off of it. We do want to get purple after this. They're going to purple. Um, I think that they... Excuse me. They might get injured. I'll show you. See, I hit him three times. You get extra damage off of that. Moonstrike. Uh, gonna love my three again. Reason I don't love the uh, the two is because the heal sucks. The heal on the individuals. I'm gonna go steal this. Did not get it. That's okay. Um, Yamosha, in my opinion, is the best at stealing camps. Absolutely crazy. Her moon strike, the tip that I just taught you. She can hit three things. She can get three ticks of damage. Bing, bing. Um, it's pretty crazy um, how much damage you can get off. And it's so far away, especially with this. Look how far that is. It's done, dude. They just took that. that. Drop a ward in case Susana comes again. <laughs> Nothing's up right now. So you basically just want to posture for wave clear. This. And then we clear faster. And then we do... He's gonna look for a pluck. Hold my thing. Stash is down. Terrible. Shiva's coming though, so I did a good job by in time. I'm gonna just crump, drop that, and leave. You're still on the tower. I think they know that you're there, yeah. It's okay, I'm gonna leave. So we're still I'd hate to die with gold in my purse. Be careful. I'm gonna say be careful left because I'm leaving. Grab this, gonna grab a ward. I'm gonna get back out there. It's uh it's a tragedy emoji doesn't recharge Omi in Fountain. I understand why they don't do it, because if you're like defending Titan. And you're just like recharging Omi in the fountain. You're just dumping abilities like crazy. Um, I'm gonna be mid now. Suzano is in the left jungle. Um, wanna let Cupid know. Because uh, that's obviously super important. Drop this, he's mid. Take absolutely no damage. By no damage, I mean. Uh, I don't know. Much is a little bit like Kepri, uh, because of my passive. My passive procs a buff, which heals your allies for like seven seconds. And it's a little, it's a little heal. Right Sound us down in the right jungle. Uh, it's a little heal, but what it does is basically you can trade a lot more efficiently than other people can. It's kind of like Kepri, 
passive. We provide the shield. And, uh, it's just nice. Yeah, I'm gonna burn that dash. And uh, like the we're topped up. I'm backline, so I don't have to face tank like Sobek does. Besides, gonna go grab that. I'll grab a mana proc. I don't know if this heals me or not. It does give me moving speed. Enemy Enemies are missing. I don't know where they are. I think they're left drunk. Probably at green buff. Nope. Boys getting rid of An enemy has been slain. A little bit worried here. I get a little bit more poke than I want to. This guy. and some change? I don't even know if it gives a shield yet. Shield okay. of 30, yeah. It sucks. Dude. An ally has been slain. Where, uh, Shiva was. I wasn't looking. I don't know what happened. Yeah, look at that. 18. Held the shell. That's what's important. We didn't use any resources there. Show you this is yeah. the stop. Gonna stun out Sobek just in case he wants to go for the plug. Be careful, enemies in the left jungle. Enemies are in the left jungle. I think I think I should rotate to counter jungle a little bit. Uh Susano is over here. I think he uses blink mid. Be careful, Keep it dives in, uses his dash. Now I'm worried for him. Doesn't have a ward up. Gotta cover all I'm gonna grab damage. this because I don't see Susanna over here. Keep it starting. The approach is the hardest part. Your team has fully powered the obelisk. Stun, she's gonna jump. She's gonna suck this wave now, basically. So get a little bit of damage off. Keep it's gonna come back. He'll make it back in time, actually. Should be fine. Left lane. I uh, I built a little bit. Of, not weird, but I go full cooldown. That's basically what I try to do. With the a lot of people get like Lotus Crown. I know that some people, since you're in backline, you just want stuff that buffs your backline, like Sentinels. I think we have a lot of kill potential for Sobek's dummy tanky. Enemy right. uh, you know, it's like Sentinel's heart word. Also, supports. There's this uh, idea that supports are the ones responsible for getting the Titans. So I can get the dash. Nope. Did get a good poke. That one does so much damage. It did 100 damage on the second bubble, which is less damage than the other Gonna heal up the team and probably back. I wanna get tier two breastplate and uh, this thing. Uh, Chalice of the Oracle. Reason I wanna do that is because wards are super important, especially I'm like gold. And so half of, I think that like half a game's lost is stuff like this. Like this Cupid's pushed up. Though he does have a ward right now, but look at that. Susano, obviously not. Literally exact example. Uh, ward did not cover Susano because it's not a very good ward. Cover. He's good. He's coming. Dude should absolutely back. Enemies in the left jungle. Um, see if I can get an assist on some of those minions. Uh, I'm gonna go right. Uh, Susanna's missing. Did get, did get assists. The emotional one's crazy. At least I think that was from me. 
I'm gonna drop this for rotations left, and I'm also gonna give Cupid a ward because this dude keeps pushing up. He hasn't died yet, but he's going to soon. Enemy missing left. That, in my opinion, this is where you want to place the ward. It tracks the purple rotation, tracks the mid rotation. An enemy sure. has been slain. Absolutely, can kill this dude. Falling back. Drop this. <laughs> Just goes around it. Poseidon wasn't interested anyways. It's okay. Um, right lane looking a little bit low, but we're chilling. I think only Shiva died earlier. I'm gonna go right. Should be okay though. His ult is down. Let's just poke him out. I'll show you this. See how I can drop all three. Boom. Apply my passive, get him healing a little bit. Get that totem for the global gold. And uh, we're chilling right now. We're actually up huge. We're up 5k even though it's only 4-1. And uh, that's crazy. We haven't even taken gold or anything. Yet, we're just... uh, I'm not going to go for a mid. Go for this. But just crazy. The fact that she drops two range AoE slows. It's absolutely insane. Terrible ult on my part. I basically didn't do anything. Now it's a trade. This is even value. And uh, three people here. There's only two of us here. Besides mid. And uh, it's getting experience, which is good. Hold it absolutely. I wonder if, uh, since I can't knock up people, knock up dorm, I wonder if my Riptate Tide just applies the passives. You know, just gives him the stats. Cupid, two levels. Overneath, that's huge. You can get this. I'm just gonna fast clear because I'm back. Wanted to get the assist from this. He definitely did it himself. Gonna get Breastplate. The reason I get Breastplate first is. Normally, I don't think that this is a great support item, uh, just because you just get a ton of mana and 60 physical prods. 65 physical prods. The 65 physical prods is nice, but um, Be careful it's, left. yeah, seriously, dude. Be careful left. Um, 65 physical prods is nice because it's a lot of physical prods, but uh, it's just a ton of mana and cooldown. It's Let's definitely better for soul laners, but um, for Yamoja, it's health. Because of the way that Yamoja works, Sorry, I don't have mana. Man. Just counts his health. And, uh... So it's just a lot of physical prots. Omi cooldown. And, uh... So obviously it's not 300 health. Like it's 300 mana, but it's not 300 health. The conversion's not great, but it's really just the cooldown I want. I would go Pridwin, but... I don't like the way that, uh... I don't know, I just like Breastplate better. Uh, Prid wins 30-30. Sorry, I was thinking about something. Uh, Prid wins 30-30, and um, I just don't like the passive. I'm gonna... I should drop this. Split this. Nice. Split it on two accounts. Kept them out. Got beside now. Kept Berlin and Sobek out. And, uh, some traps set. I think we're comfortable with saying that this is just a win. Oh, there we go. Okay. Interrupted another. Slowed. Should be killed. Great. Yorm's just walking at Merlin. This is a big win. Sobuck's gonna do absolutely nothing. Don't even care about that. There's no kill potential. An enemy has been slain. Ends up getting the Merlin. I don't know how Merlin did not go away, but you know, that's the second time that Yorm just walked out. My uh, philosophy with Emoja is early mid game.
just want to hit your Can one you as much as you possibly can. Obviously, you want to, you know, ride the bus with the three. If you're ever going somewhere, people going to gold or stuff like that. But mostly, it's just you hit the ranged AOE slow and the ranged AOE stun. It's absolutely crazy. Get it up like every other second. It's so dumb. <laughs> it's so dumb. Late game, you get benevolence and tank everybody's damage and uh, heal people like crazy. Because in 5v5 team fights, the heal is absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. And uh, But early game, like if I was healing up Poseidon, look at this. Even if it was max, 170 and a shield. That sucks. Your team has destroyed a right enemy tower. Did ping gold? I don't know if they're there. But uh, Merlin is missing mid. Maybe she wants to attack the gold. I'm gonna drop this. What's up, homie? I'm gonna drop this. I think we can just take it. She has, uh, Yamocha has okay secure. I think it's exceptional. But she can drop a lot of abilities that basically guarantee uh, whatever objective you want. Now I'm gonna heal up the team, there's four of us. Is missing. Yep, Sedona is missing. My left lane is Cupid. Probably is not dropped a single ward all game. And, uh, just died. That's pretty obvious. We get a mid tower. Farm up a bunch. Besides, dead. Nice. Two man stun. Onto the soul laner and the jungler. Absolutely. These guys are dead anyways, but. An enemy has been slain. Okay, it's okay. Somebody's in this left jungle. Don't know where they're going. But I can take this now. Level up my two. For this reason. You want to. I, uh... Big win. Invade the red. Shiva's going for the solo. Shiva is building a little bit tanky. Transcendence and Soul Eater is so much healing. Eats on Susano. This, we're gonna get this. Upgrade this. And now we set up for fire giant. That's uh, what we do. Grab this green buff. I go Shogun's next for two reasons. Number one, um, Shogun's. Yeah, obviously, I need magical protections because I have physical protections down. I need health. Health is important. My reward. I want cooldown because I want to spam my cooldowns as much as possible. Only other, there's no magic protection item that gives 20% cooldown except for Pridwin, I think. There's obviously like Chronos Pendant, but there's no protections on Chronos Pendant. Be careful left. This Cupid dude just please by wards, <laughs> my friend. Great visibility. I'll drop both for him. Be careful left. But I think we should just go fire giant. The fire giant. The fire giant. Yeah, I really didn't want to use those wards right there. But he was playing like that earlier. I had to ping the camps. Just need to come with me. She just five man fire giant. This dude's gonna die so much. It's one and two, he's not even getting value off of this. He hasn't hit this. Please come. Die now. Three people. Thank god I dropped a lot. Yep, we have a 12k lead. Group and force fire, yes. An Autobot has fallen. I don't know what you're dying for, dude. How valuable is the tier two right now? How valuable is the tier two? Are you just trying to assert your dominance? Over the Neath, who is one level below you, like, dude, just group 
Go fire. At the very least, I can get power off this. I didn't see anybody else come back. They're probably backing. Dicking around. Even still over there. Set is still over there. I don't think, it's, it's, I don't think it's gonna burn fire. Should we try? I'll always start fire as a support. I'll always start fire just to like read the Be careful. Gonna destroy this work. Shiva doesn't get plucked. Please come. Keep it. I'm gonna grab that thing. Now I go... On my way. What do I do? Cool it down? I don't think there's anything else I do. Complete it. With good get these for the, the impending fight. Easy. We're about to have to not gonna get my green, just wanna make it there. Oh, that is so stupid. I, uh, I've suddenly forgotten my build. I think I just go Sov into Heartward now. I don't like to get anti-heal because I'm backline, and I'll be honest, none of them are crazy anti, or none of them are crazy life stealers right now. Keep it come fire. Shield, help keep it pretty topped up. But now I go sob heartward, and the reason I do that is because if they do destroy fire giant like they did, also die. In war, the loss of life is worth my sword. Okay. Ooh, that was intense. I like to drop my ult on Fire Giant just in case you take it. You got three minutes on Fire Giant. So looks super dead. I'll fix it. Now they did get fire. Has been slain. We could just group, please. It's for split push and towers. Will no longer hurt I was gonna say we got two kills and we could push towers now, but um. Just trade it out. I think it's a little bit dicier now. Do you have both my wards? Somebody can come here with me. Be right back. Be careful. Retreat. Enemy ultimate down. I dropped this ward. Right tower is under attack. The approach is the hardest part. Be careful. I don't think we could do it now. Actually, people are too low, but. Whatever. There's only one objective up right now. They have Fire Giant. They lost it on two people. On Susano and Sobek, which are probably the ones you don't care about. In war, the loss of life. Let's see if I can screen. I can. Might just be able to do it now. Susano's dead. I think that he respawned after that Fire Giant fight and just died. We can absolutely take this. I'm gonna stand on this side so I can see what the enemy is doing. this. I will absolutely drop my ult to prevent anybody getting in there. I wish I could build benevolence right now, but I can't. I'm gonna go sovereignty. It's also cheap too, uh, which is super nice. I'm gonna come. Yeah, they should be careful. They have five up. One is right lane. It's set. Just blinked on me there. Susanna just blinked. In the back lane. Uh, Shiva is choosing not to leave. And uh, he's getting wrecked for it. Your team has destroyed a left team's enemy. Getting it it's it's a it's not going to die. Zen, he's going to die. It's under tower. Not going to die. Blinks in. Enemy ultimate down. Yorm TP's in. I can interrupt now. He's probably gonna try and jump one of these walls. There he goes. Hey, 
An enemy has been slain. Big win. Only objective up is about to be Pyromancer. Sobek strain in the snake, that's okay. Definitely just want to hit this. Hit this. Hit this. And uh, we're chilling. We're up 12k. Just want to force a fighter on fire. They stole it last time, but then Yorm got a little zealous with his only death. Dove way past tier two. I uh, reason I like Shogun's on Yemoja. I think I was talking about this. Is is obviously the cooldown, and it lets me proc my passive a lot quicker. Um, I don't think that my Two, two things like I just auto faster. There's two parts to that. Number one, my it's not like my my passive heal is huge or anything like that, but it is important to proc it. You know, it is important. And the ability to when you speed up your attack speed by 30%, not only can you shoot faster, but the whole animation is shortened. And so I'm gonna take compassion. This is a huge spike. I'm going to make this look good. Uh, the whole animation is shortened. What that lets you do is uh, I get out of the when you auto, you're slowed, and it lets me get out of that slowed state faster. No, 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 no. Don't try and solo the solo laner, dude. If you take this, I'm proud of you, but you should leave 100%. Retreat left lane. Group up. Group four fire. Don't force one v one. Half of this MMR, I swear to God, is people who just go off and kill themselves, and then you lose a fire giant fight, and then you lose the game. That's it. That's it. It's like one move plunders in chess. There's a whole we need elo around a thousand where you just lose Be because you had a one move plunder. Drop this. We need Cupid, and here he is dicking around a lot. I'm gonna start this. This is how it should be. Let the jungler and the solo laner zone. Go cracking for the secure. Everybody can be careful. No. That should be game. That's it's that easy. It is that easy. Just group and go fire. Just group and go fire. We have a huge lead. Look, we've got a whole slot of items. Bro. That's all you gotta do. What a feat of strength. Then I heal everybody up. See, that's a heal for a hundred plus your shield on the whole team. Five hundred. Five hundred dollar heal. And you just win. That's all it takes. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get out of gold, says the gold player. If you want to get out of if you want to get out of silver, just spam ping your teammates and say group around fire giant. Force the fight. Don't die. Just play it safe in the early game. Let people farm a little bit more. And then group around fire, win the fire giant fight, and win the game. It's that easy. Great job. We the Yorm was actually killing it. I actually hate Yorm, just as a character. Ah. Yo, it's that Sobek again. GG, well played. I not no teamwork for this guy. I uh, he threw last game too. I don't know who he's talking about. Look at this. Oh, I'm so close. I am so close. I've I've been posting videos of me stuck in gold too. I used to be at like 1300, which is my lowest, and I've been documenting ah. the climb. And I'm I'm gonna get out. One more game and I get out. Can you throw a game when you're 12 came down? I don't know what they're arguing about, but uh, very good game. They just did not. We just got ahead and and stayed ahead. Their uh, set was getting wrecked by this woman. This dude knows this character very well. He even sold his starter. Wow. These two items, I think, are so underrated. Void Stowed Shade Emperors. Obviously, they're built on magical solo laners a lot, but they're so good. 
It's just hard to build. Like, this one's 2900 So expensive to buy as a support. It is awesome. But, um... It's just hard. And Voidstone. Voidstone's awesome. I think more mid laners should pick up Voidstone. Um... Because it's dope. I wish it had 2 inch fifty health still. Like, Battle Mages? Pick up Voidstone. Maybe that's dumb, but... Um... Yeah, maybe that's terrible advice. Who cares? They actually had great wards the entire game. Great wards. Probably, I don't know if she had Chalice or not. It won't tell me. This is maybe an excessive amount of wards. <laughs> From when you're pushed up against your tier 2. Just dropping wards like crazy. And you're behind. But, um, overall good game. Everybody did pretty well. And, uh, that's another one for the books. Next time you see a video, uh -huh. I better be platinum. I better be platinum. Thank you guys for spending this time with me. I'm out.